What's up guys and welcome back to the nurse nook. I have been gone for a little while now. I haven't filmed in probably about a month. I had to take a little mental health break. I had a lot of stuff going on in my life at the time, but I am refreshed back and ready to make some content for you guys. So as you can tell from the title of this video, I am coming to y'all with a NICU update. If y'all have not seen my previous videos, I'm going to link one down below that will explain, explain, that will explain a little bit more of my journey. So make sure you check that out first. But I'm coming to y'all with a update. I have been a level four NICU nurse for about three months now. And so I have a little bit of a better experience to share with you guys how my time has been so far. If you guys are interested in more of like the NICU journey, make sure that you're following my Instagram because I've been posting a lot of like NICU um, nursing content. And also I've been doing weekly like diagnosis of the day um, all about NICU stuff and you know just a lot of content of things I experience as a NICU nurse so if you're interested in that make sure you guys follow my Instagram I have a highlight with a lot of NICU stuff on there and just like nursing stuff in general so don't forget to check that out really quickly I just wanted to share with you guys something I'm really excited about I am going to be hosting a retreat, an international retreat, and I'm inviting all my viewers, my audience to come and join me, come meet me, come hang out with me, let's travel, let's vacation, let's relax, let's let our hair down. This is something that I recently put on my manifestation list and it actually came to fruition a lot quicker than I thought it would, which is amazing because first of all, the power of manifestation. Uh, secondly god and three i'm just really excited about this this is something that i always thought was super cool to do so i'm going to be hosting a retreat make sure that you guys fill out the survey that is linked below that's how you're gonna one vote for which country we should travel to and two just stay up to date with pricing um, how many spots are left open, our activities that we're going to be doing, and I will most likely be hosting more than one. So even if you can't make the first one, as long as you sign up through that email, I can update you guys on when more trips will be releasing. So let's vacation, let's travel together. Make sure you guys fill that out down below. So let's get into the NICU. Three months into the NICU, my honest opinion, I promise y'all I'm saying this with full honesty and transparency, because you know I'm real with you guys, always. I love the NICU even more now than I did when I made my last video. Y'all, I am obsessed with the NICU. I promise you, like, every time I go into work, I'm like, how was I not doing this before? Like, especially compared to the ER, I'm like, how was I not always a NICU nurse? Like, I was wasting my time. It's just, I feel like when you find something that is your purpose, this is the kind of feeling that comes with it because every day I go into work and I feel very purposeful. I feel like I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing and I'm wanting to learn. I'm wanting to look things up. I'm wanting to increase my knowledge and help these babies make it home. It's just really, this is just where I'm supposed to be and Shadi is loving it. Some people can have the misconception that NICU is like a super cute, happy place. We like cuddle with babies. We feed them and just make googly eyes at them all day which can happen like you can have days like that but especially i work in a level four which is the highest acuity which means i work with the sickest of the sick babies um it's not always just happy and flowers and rainbows and cute stuffed animals and baby clothes um death happens in the NICU um sometimes frequently um kids are very very sick parents are grieving there's kids there's babies that you know are gonna have really poor outcomes or babies that you know will be on a ventilator for the rest of their lives or babies that you know will never walk it's not always a super super happy environment however i love being a part of these NICU stories and watching them grow. Probably one of my favorite things about the NICU is being able to follow up with patients. So with my ER background, I'm so used to having a patient for a couple hours and then never seeing them again. And one of my favorite things about the NICU, if not my favorite thing, is 
I can get like a super micro preemie baby one day and I can check on them in a couple weeks and see how much they've grown and see the milestones they've reached. Like sometimes I just go and visit like babies that I've had since being on the unit and I'm like, oh my gosh, little Jimmy, you're getting so big. Look, you like have hair now. Ugh, like that is my favorite thing about the NICU. Just like building a relationship with like not only the babies with the families because obviously the baby's looking at you like girl i don't know who you are but it's just having that like that like longer connection that i really really love and that's something that that i was missing in the er i didn't get to follow stories i felt like i just treated people momentarily and i didn't follow up and i didn't get to see their outcome or didn't get to see their story and so i feel like that's why i know for sure like i am where i'm supposed to be now i've been getting a lot of questions like do i want to go back to school what are my plans from here i do plan on going back to school however i still want to protect my dreams and not put things out prematurely um but when that time is closer i will share with you guys that journey but for now I am absolutely loving the NICU and there is just so much to learn. Like every day I come into work, I'm like, when I start feeling like, okay, like I know what I'm doing a little bit, like I get a new diagnosis and I'm like, what the hell is this? I've never seen this in my life. And the thing with working at the level four, we get a lot of things that are transferred to us. And so we see like the crazy of the crazy and like the, like just stuff that, a lot of other uh, smaller facilities or lower level facilities don't see and so it's a that makes it like a hard transition because you're working in such a critical environment but it makes you such a good nurse because you are able to see so much and you know how to act in a lot of different situations and you know what you need to do and that's another thing that i'm still working on my transition into um critical care or being like an ICU nurse because I personally not everyone uh, agrees but I think ER is critical care nursing and I don't know why they are not considered part of the critical care because where does a patient start off before being in the ICU the ER but anyways I digress transitioning into ICU from ER was a uh eye-opening experience there was a lot of things as an ER nurse that I just didn't pay attention to didn't really think of and so in the ICU things are very very detailed I mean I have like a smaller amount of patients but everything on them is super super focused especially in the NICU I mean like down to like the MLs of the diapers so we weigh most of our diapers and ev like so everything is calculated hourly you're you're charting intake and output like making sure that to the decimal everything is on point and so that was a little bit of a transition for me um just being in a more strict environment but to be honest i love the structure like i i like structure i like being able to plan out my day and having my little time sheet so my report sheet is literally broken down by the hour like i have what hour i'm going to do labs what hour i'm going to change this baby's diaper what hour i'm going to do vitals what hour i'm going to start their feed everything is like planned out from the jump now it doesn't always go exactly as planned but for the most part 85 percent i can predict my night which compared to the er i could predict my day maybe 10 percent and so having that structure is like my jam and plus we get our breaks in the NICU which I thought I had to be like a nurse in California with a break nurse to even have that experience that luxury I remember I used to joke about it and now that's me like oh my gosh god is so good but yes, I just wanted to share a little bit of my experience. There is a lot more detailed NICU content to come. Don't forget to leave your video suggestions down below. Leave your questions. I make a lot of videos based off of the questions I receive and the most popular questions. So if you have questions that you want me to answer or questions you want to see in a potential next video, don't forget to leave those down below. 
Again, thank you guys so much for watching and being part of my journey. I love you and we'll see you in the next video.